Yes, yeah, your boy AG, Corner Man Boxing. I'm here with my man Albert Bell, the Prince, Toledo, Toledo. You know, one of Toledo's finest. First of all, thank you for your time, champ. How you feeling tonight? Uh, thank you for having me. I feel great. Now that I'm rehydrating, got some good water and Pedialyte food, and I'm feeling great. <laughs> That's good to hear, man. Tomorrow night, you know, as we know, you're taking on uh, Mark Berlandes. You know, it's a, a tough challenge. How, how do you see this fight playing out? Um, yeah, I know he's tough. He's gonna bring it, um, bring the big power shots and some, um, some slight pressure. But, um, I feel, I see the fight playing, the fight playing out my favor, you know, um, boxing a little bit, then start walking him down after I break him down, uh, you know, and beat him up a little bit. <laughs> Right, because I mean, I mean, if, if I'm not mistaken, you we know you come from a, a fighting family. You, 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 know, you know, what I mean, your father's a fighter. I believe your brothers. Can you just touch on that a little bit? Where, where you get that style from yeah. and everything? Yes, yeah, long. You're right. Uh, whole family full of fighters, even the girls. But not, not <laughs> in the ring, but they fighters. But um, yeah, my father's my coach. You know, he is a fighter as well as my brothers, my uncle. Um, so I just grew up around boxing and grew up in the gym with boxing. So that's where it started me out and that's what kept me in it. Right. I mean, I seen recently, man, on the internet, you know, you, you was over there working at Slow City. You had, you, you know, your father. He looked like he still got it, man. Mr. Andy Bell. Yeah, man, I, got, I, I got some, I got some new clips of him, man, where he getting sharp, you know, and we've been, um, this, we've been shadowing each other, like, uh, mirror boxing each other, like, far without far. And he been, he been, man, he back on this thing, man. <laughs> wow, that's amazing, Chad. Let me tell you, me as a father, you know, I love seeing stuff like that. You know, when you see that kind of relationship, and, you know, it, it's just beautiful and it sets an example for the kids. Correct, 100%. Right. Now, I mean, what, what kind of goals do you have in your career? You know what I mean? Like, we know tomorrow you want to get this victory, defend your, your Continental America belt, WBC. But what, what kind of goals do you have in your career? Uh, you know, uh, um, First and most, uh, definitely, you know, I want to become a world champion, you know. Um, that's my main goal. That's what I got the sport to do when I was, since I was a kid was uh, dream to be a world champion. So that's the dream I'm chasing and goal I'm trying to real, make uh, come into realization. So uh, it starts with my opponent tomorrow because every fight, you know, you can't trip up, can't double, can't look over, look it. So one step at a time until I get to that goal of becoming a world champion, then I have some new goals from there. But right now, it's my mind that it's become a, a, a world champion. Nice. That's what's up, champ. You're speaking that into existence. And and I mean, like, during this whole downtown with the with the pandemic and everything, just, you know what I mean, how, how did you stay ready? Because I know when that phone rang, you jumped to it, and, and now you got this opportunity. But, I mean, how, how, how was your experience with all of that? Um, you know, um, I just stay, I just stay, like, jogging at least, or doing in-home uh, cardio and workouts like that, you know, to keep myself fit. But and then when I got the, uh, when they started talking about bringing boxing back, I had a, a friend of mine, a friend of family who has a, a personal boxing gym in his garage, a nice gym, so I had access to that. So I got right in the gym, and, you know, it's been flowing just how it would in the other camp. Wow, that's amazing, champ. And I mean, how, how's this whole, you know, experience of you inside the bubble, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I haven't experienced it myself, so I mean, can you just let us know what's it been like for you, for you You know what I mean? Having a fight even tomorrow with, with no fans and stuff like that. Just what, How's this all been for you? Um, the bubble, um, it's actually been pretty chill and nice, you know. It's not as bad as people may think, you know, you get here. They let you move around how you need to to get everything before you because you don't just come straight in from off the plane and lock into your room and you know they let you move around you know get out and about to get everything you need then once you but once you test you're locked in and for the night so you can only uh, be in contact with your team that you came with because you don't want to affect anybody else or fighters or whatever the case may be until your test results are. Uh, come back, you know, negative in the morning, then you're allowed to move around the bubble freely, you know, go to the game room, go to the conference room, the workout center, see other people in the hallway, or whatever the case may be, but it's not that bad, because especially fight week, you just chill and rest in the hotels anyway, like I'm going to be out in the bottom of Las Vegas Strip trying to gamble, you know? <laughs> right. <laughs> but it's, 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 it's pretty, it's pretty nice, I like it, it's, it's not that bad. And as far as fighting with no fans, you know, um, when you're a true fighter, you know that's what you do. And uh, once that bell ring, all that stuff goes out the window anyway. You know, I don't care if it's barn 
or fight in, when you got somebody trying to take your head off, you got to lock in. So I think that without the fans, I think I'd be probably more focused and more relaxed, you know, just getting able to vibe out and do my thing. Wow, that, that that's all right. You know, I mean, you made some good points right there, champ. Yes. So I mean, like uh, we know with, with top rank bringing these fights, you know, two maybe even three times a week down the line. You know, I mean, th- this serves as a good opportunity for a lot of fighters, and you know, that phone might be busy. How how active are you trying to be moving forward? Are you are you trying to fight, you know, often, or how how do you see that? Yeah, um, you know, long as we get through this one safe and sound with no injuries or anything like that, then, um, you know, I'm willing to come back as soon as possible. So, you know, I missed some, missed some fights um, earlier in the year, so I would definitely love to make those up. So hopefully I get in about two more times before this year end, you know, or one if it's a big one, you know, it depends how it comes. But I'm definitely open to uh, getting a ring as much as possible. Nice. And, I mean, if you make a statement tomorrow, Chad, we might even see you headlining one of these cards soon. Oh, so that's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, champ. <laughs> but yeah, brother. I mean, I, I, once again, man, I really thank you for your time. We know you guys are going through a lot, dealing with everything and making the sacrifices. We salute and commend all you guys involved in making the sport better, taking it where it's going to be. You know what I mean? So just for, for all the kids that, that you're going to be inspiring, all the people around the world, what kind of message do you have for them before we let you go? Okay, yes, I definitely appreciate you. Um, for having me, but um, you know, I meant to, you know, we um, we all going through this together. You know, we are getting through it. We want this world to get back the way it's supposed to, but we can't rush it. We gotta take our time, you know. And the big thing um, I'm focused on right now, you know, is um, our Black Lives Matter movement. You know, mm. um, stand up with my people, 110 percent on this, and uh, we want we demand justice for all our people, not just the ones caught on camp on camera. You know. So um, with that, this fight is dedicated in the loving memory of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Elijah McClain, and all the others we lost. You know, um, time for change, and we stand on all stand about it, stand for them. Fall for something, you know what I mean? We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, uh, we gotta stand together as people around the world, all of us. Absolutely, Chad. All, all right, we all want people, man. And don't let nobody tell you different. Right. I, I love that, man. I love when I see, you know, I mean, young fighters such as yourself with that mentality, you know, of, of embracing the, of being a role model and, you know, just, just shedding some positive light out there, man. So I just want to touch, you know, on how much we appreciate that. And, you know, we, we, we hope to see it keep coming, man, from not just you, because we know you coming with it, but just all fighters in general. Hopefully we can all just unite. Most definitely, man. That's the past and it's a beautiful plan. So we definitely need to keep reaching one to teach one, you know, when it comes to that. Yes, sir. Now, Chan, before we let you go, you got any final shout outs you want to give out to anybody? Um, you know, we shout out Top Rank, ESPN, Paul Stockton, uh, my whole camp team, Prince Bill, you know, um, and all my uh, people who support and watching me and praying for me, you know, keep me even on prayers, keep me. Keep, you know, keep supporting me, and I'm going to keep fighting for y'all and doing the best I can, you know, to teach these kids the right way, leading the right way, and, um, you know, inspire as many people to, with my journey as I can. That's all it's about. That's what's up, Chan. Amen to that, brother. And I, and I wish you the best, you know, not just for tonight, not just for tomorrow night, but for the rest of your career going forward, for you, your family, everybody in your team, man. And we hope to keep, you know what I mean, taking the sport to another level. I'm going to that's the plan, man. I thank you. I, I humbly thank you. Hey, God bless, champ. I'm, I'm going to let you rest up. We know you locked in. You focused. Tomorrow's a big night, 8 p.m. Eastern time. I believe 5 p.m. on the West Coast. Everybody make sure to tune in. My man, the Prince, he going to make some noise, so y'all don't want to miss that, man. Oh, definitely. God bless, champ. Thank you once again. Peace.